And I said, all raindrops have one job, is to work their way back home. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, when they hit that water, they got to work their way back. If they hit the land and the dirt, they got to work their back to the river, to the stream, to the ocean. We humans, when we born, we have one thing to do. God don't give a damn about a PhD like your daddy, God. Or a PhD like your mama, God. Or how much money you got in the bank. Or if you're black, you're white. You're rich, you're poor, you can read, you can't read. God has one law. When you come here, the only thing you have to do is work your way back home. I brought you through that little door called your mama's womb. But all you got to do is work your way. And I have one restriction. You better be as clean when you get back as you was when I put you here. Hmm? You're not born a racist or a bigot or a thief or a murderer. You pick that up on the way. And then I said to my grands, let me explain this to you a little better. I was seven years old and my mama came and got me out of school half day because she wanted to take me to this spiritless woman that said, you got a son that got something on his head and I want to tell you he's going to be great one day. And my mama, she believed in that from school, you know. And so I cut home, and, and we had to be there at 1 o'clock, so she washed my face and put my little suit on and, and dressed me up. It was raining like hell. She said, now you sit here on the porch. I'm going to go get dressed, and don't you get dirty. I'm seven years old. All the big boys is down playing in the rain. So I go to play with them, and they mad because I'm all dressed up. They threw me in the mud, and I ran up and knocked on the door. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Look what that she opened the door and said, Boy, just look at you. I told you not to get, you can't come in this house looking like that. Hey. I said, Grandson, listen, she didn't say I couldn't come in. She said, I can't come in there looking like that. And I say, so son, Just hope that you carry yourself in a way that when you get to that big door, you won't hear coming out that door what my mother said to me. You can't come in here looking like that. It's just that simple. Now, y'all play all the games you want, get hung up in all the churches you want, be full of hatred. Let somebody reduce you below your dignity and don't know you violating the universal God. Let a bunch of thugs control your food. A bunch of hoodlums control your education, everything. And y'all think y'all are so powerful and clean. They got engineered animals that you put on your table every day and America's the only country don't have to put on the label that they've been cloned and you think you're free. Huh? So you youngsters, you got a big job. And if you understand King and what he stood for, it's an easy job. When you're doing it for other folks as well as yourself. Huh? What a glorious night tonight. To know King and to know where this have led to. Because as long as you're on this planet, with Obama, people that's not born are gonna ask you about Tuesday. Hmm? Gonna ask you about it. The biggest thing that's ever happened in the history of the planet because it's being televised. So I say to you youngsters, 
as a human being, I'm sorry that I'm part of the group that left you the mess to clean up. But now you have no choice. I love you. God bless you. Peace be with you.